guys it's your girl snook welcome back to my channel and today i will be showing you guys how i did this beautiful wig install um don't forget to like comment and of course subscribe to my channel all right you guys this is my beautiful client ken she's getting her hair done for graduation all right so what i'm doing here is i just um apply a little bit like a tiny bit on her nose just to make sure it blends in and then i go ahead and apply it on the cap this cap have already been sprayed with the got to be yellow spray unfortunately i lost the clip to me spraying this cap but all you do is just spray um the front line of where exactly you want to be melt down with the um spray All right, so what I'm doing is I'm just cutting the excess lace from the front of her face and all around the back. And when you're cutting, please, I use the shears. Whatever you use, just be careful so you don't cut your client's skin. And make sure you cut it off completely. And you want to make sure there's no lifting on that as, as well because that is also can mess up your whole install, um, that part right there. So if your camp method is not good, it can ruin your install. So you want to be very 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 careful okay all right so the next step is to clean the skin okay so remember we we had um they got to be sprayed and we just applied makeup so there is some left over that is um you know next to the cap so you want to make sure you just get some napkins put some alcohol and just wipe around it and make sure that your client's skin is free from oil and also makeup because that can prevent the wig from being laid and not installed co um correctly okay All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and apply our glue. The glue that we will be using today is the Boho Active. It comes in a um, white bottle and the sticker is pink and it will say Boho Active, okay? Um, so we are doing three layers. I always do three layers personally just to make sure my client um, wig lasts and everything. So I apply my first layer, wait for it to be clear, then apply my second layer, and wait for that to be clear, then apply my third layer. And once that clear, then I'm go ahead and free to go on, start laying my lace fronts, okay? All right, so after you apply your glue, you do want to take an edge brush just to go ahead and smear it down all over um, the area that you want This it is to the be part on. that I use to smear down um, the glue. All right, so I apply the same makeup that I apply on the cap. I apply it on the lace, and I'm going to spray it, bring it down. If you're using your client assistant to spray the lace, make sure she put it down because unfortunately, I have sprayed somebody's face before. <laughs> It was my cousin, but still, ever since then, I always make sure that they keep it away from their face. So then here I am just applying my um wig. I always lay down the middle before, and then I go ahead and move towards the side. And I use my comb just to comb it down smoothly and ask my client to hold the sides um, while I go ahead and comb it out, okay? All right, so now let's go ahead and cut the excess lace. Um, I cut in sections, so I make a few sections and then I cut them off. That way it'll prevent me from making like a straight round circle. <laughs>
What lace though? Like, what lace? <laughs> so it looks like we have some excess lace that was not laid so the only thing that i'm doing is applying a dot of glue on my um palm and i'm applying it under that lace and i smear it down wait till it's um clear then i apply my second layer and wait till that clear and apply my third layer all right so as you can see it's cleared and i'm going to go ahead and apply my second layer So that way you don't put any hair underneath the cap, okay? I mean, the lace. Alright, so uh, now I am using my elastic band just to tie the front of her lace. Using my client help to hold each side while I um, go ahead and tie the back. All right, so now that her lace is tied up and secured, I am going to go ahead and sit her into the dryer for about um, 20 minutes. If you do not have a um, dryer like this, you could just use your normal dryer and just blow dry it, okay, to make sure it's cleared and molded. All right. So this is how it's looking um, before I even make her baby hair. Look at that. What lace? Don't play with me. <laughs> All right, so now I'm cutting off the excess lace from the back of her head. baby hair you i always visualize how i want the baby hair so i kind of cut it and part it exactly where i want them to be so i always part them and i don't just take a whole lot of hair and just cut it i part it and then i cut so yeah just keep watching so that way you can see exactly what i'm doing then i went ahead and did the same thing that i just did on this side to the other side Then I take my razor comb and just cut them exactly the length that I want them to be. If I if my razor comb is not sharp as you know because they run out or whatever, I normally use a razor. I will never use scissors because I don't like the way the end look. Alright, so now that I'm taking the nearby Roby um, foaming mousse, I do not apply it directly on the lace I apply it on the hair and then I go ahead and lay down my baby hair you definitely want to do this very fast and you want to be very light-handed when you're doing it that way you don't lift the lace and while you're doing it it's okay to cut if you see it's a little bit too long or if it's too short just you're controlling the hair you're making this baby hair it's not making you so take your time and making sure that it looks good even before it's mold down
guys, so now that I have um, tied the uh, baby hair with my edge wrap, and I went ahead and sat her down under the dryer for about 20 minutes. All right, so now that 20 minutes is up, I took her off the dryer, and I am going to style her hair. And I always leave the baby hair under the satin edge wrap just to get that extra molded. Um, and also so my baby hair don't move while I'm styling her hair. All right, so in this bottle, I have warm water, um, leave-in conditioner, and some shining oil, but it's oil-free. I s spray that, and then I flat iron the hair just so it could really look silky and real shiny. And when I tell you this method work, oh, my God. I know some people use BioSilk, but I've always gone to the review, and they're like, oh, there is the fake one, blah, blah, blah. So since I'm not sure what's real or not, I just create my own method you feel me i know y'all see my client feeling herself look look at that smile just melt my heart y'all look at how happy she looks y'all see oh my god but anywho them baby hair is melted okay so all i'm going to do now is just comb them out i am not applying any kind of edge control or anything i'm just kind of comb them out because they really laid down like laid look at my client she's just so happy <laughs> All right, so all I'm doing now is just combing out the edges, I mean the baby hair, just to kind of have them really natural, not to, you know, not looking hard or anything. So I'm just combing them out or anything that needs to be cut. I'll go ahead and use my razor comb and cut them and make sure that they look clean and even. All right, while I'm combing out the baby hair, I noticed this side is a little bit thicker. So I'm just plucking it out just so I can thin it out a little bit. And you want to do this very lightly so you don't pluck your client's skin. And also so you don't over pluck. I'm just cleaning up the baby hair like I said. I feel like that extra piece does not need to be here. So I'm just plucking it out. And just to make sure this look clean and beautiful. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and define her part by using a concealer. I use this concealer specifically for my client part because I um I've lost my brush that I normally use. So I'm just making it really thin and just make a clear part. So now I'm going to take my hot comb and just comb it out, like comb out the port and making sure that it's very flat. <music> the end of this tutorial thank you very much for watching to the end and please 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 do me a favor don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit your notification bell so you never miss a video okay and don't forget to also like and comment and follow me on social media and i can't wait to do more tutorials for you guys hey. no, 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 no.
Hands up.